Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking all about new Huda Beauty eyeshadow and I am wearing it on my eyes today. I'm gonna give you a tutorial of how I got this look. Stay tuned, subscribe if you wanna see more of this. Dive in, thumbs it up, leave me comments, yes. I have no idea what that was. Um insert crickets. <laughs> you know it's a good day when I am wearing purple, my very, very favorite color. And I am shocked by how much I like the purple that I'm wearing. It's like purple on purple on purple. And I am gonna explain to you all in detail, all the tips, tricks, techniques that I used uh, to get this look. But also we're gonna go through swatches and I'm gonna talk about the formula and which one I like the most and all of that good stuff. But have you guys seen these? I have not been as excited for a Huda Beauty shadow launch uh, in a while as I am for this one. She's had, ooh, oh, hold the phone. There is an eyelash that happens sometimes around here. The last launch from Huda Beauty as far as these Oh my, oh my gosh, bear with me. I bit the inside of my cheek and I feel like every time I'm talking now, all I'm feeling is like the desire to like re-bite the same spot. Has that ever happened to you guys where you like, for some reason, bite the inside of your mouth in the same spot over and over? What is that? What is that? I don't even know, but it's making it like kind of hard to talk right now. All right, I have not had a Huda Beauty mini palette, you know, heartbeat moment where I'm like, ooh, I need those in a hot minute. I did do a review on the Neon Collection. Do we remember that video? I reviewed these when they first launched, very different packaging to what they evolved into now with the plastic. But I do have to say, these are some of the best shadows where you get a lot of color play, you get a lot of product in a smaller little guy like this, so convenient to travel with. I've really loved the formula in these palettes um, through and through. There have been a few where I'm like, eh, like that's really dry, that's really patchy uh, and what have you. But for the most part, these are like, I mean, come on, just wow. I mean, mm, right? I just gotta say, I am very, very impressed with how my eye look turned out. And let's just hop to that really quick and then we will go through swatches. There are four of these in the collection. There is the Python, Tiger, Chameleon, and then what I have on my eyes today dominantly, which is the Jaguar palette. There is also a mini lip kit the Huda Beauty Wild Liquid Matte and Silk Balm Minis. I'm wearing the shade Feline on my lips. I also topped it with the balm that came in the bunch in the shade Blush. They do have two other shades in here, the shade Untamed and Huntress. This is the lightest one. I could go a little lighter, like I'm not loving the shade of it. The formula is really, really nice. All right, let's jump into this eye look and then we'll take a peek at the swatches. With the Jaguar palette, I started out with primed lids. I used Max Painterly Paint Pot, just patted on a good coat of that. Went straight in to the top row middle, this beautiful muted gray plum smoky shade that blended really nicely. I did use my fabulous technique from my my beauty secrets video, which I will link below, where I tilt my whole face over the mirror, not flattering while you're doing it or if you're filming it, but it is a technique that really helps you to get a lifted, more blown out cut crease. And I like the technique of that. It worked out well with this particular shade. And after I was done blending the first round of color lay down, I took a lot of the color saturated on the side of the brush. I love this technique where at first you start out blending a shade, you you dip the shade in straight so the color is only saturated on the tip of the crease brush. And then after you are done blending, lay that same brush down, but pack the color on the side of the brush and then lay that down on the outer edge and kind of pat and blend in if you want the color to meet up on the actual lid to go into the crease. And then I went into the second row, the matte shade that is more of a burgundy, but it's like a muted, rusty, sophisticated burgundy. I really love this shade. I took a Scott Barnes crease brush and blended out a little bit of a 
thinner, I don't wanna say strip, but my idea was just to get a gradient with a little more punch of that darker shade to just start blurring down a gradient effect from lightest to darkest. From there, I went in with a small brush, a detail brush that's still shaped like a crease brush, went into that matte black that is so rich, and I put that on the outer edge. I tilted my head backwards, and I took a little bit of the excess on the brush and pulled it kind of at an angle on the lash line. When you are blending out a black on the outer edge, I find that you wanna tilt your head back and just make sure that you have it even on both eyes, but also that there's no gap on the lash line just to make sure that everything connects and has a nice ombre gradient effect. Using my fingertip, I went into the metallic shade on the bottom row and I patted it all the way almost to the inner corner. I left a little bit of space open because I had the intention of going into that gorgeous shade right in the middle of the palette that is so beautiful. I then packed that on the inner corner using a brush and it just dazzled me. From there, I lined my eyes. I did use a Huda Beauty liner just to keep in theme with this video, the Life Liner Quick and Easy. I like how precise the brush is. It's really nice to get in that inner corner. It didn't seem to smear too much. I really, really liked it. And then I popped on some lashes, almost called it a day, pulled the camera out and decided to tap on just a little bit of that brighter purple because my fingers just could not help myself. I literally went in here and was like, um, I'm done. I like this look. It looks really nice. And then I was like, but wait, there's more. Like I just, I needed to do it. I'm sorry, I may have ruined the look, but I just needed to try it on my lids. It was like satisfying. I wish I had recorded it, but I didn't. And here we are, and it's just like a nice little pop of something extra. You know what? Let's just have the satisfaction moment. Let's just go and I'm gonna reenact. And you go like this. I did this just like this, like with the lashes on and everything. I was like, I just, mm, just like that. Just, just like that. Bam, 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 yes. Oh, this color, whew, so good. Let's go into the rest of this palette while we're playing with her. This is the Wild Chameleon. Let's take a look at the top row. You have two mattes that are soft and somehow firm at the same time. I love this color story. I cannot wait to play with it some more. You have this gorgeous metallic that is just like, oh my gosh, I kind of want to smear this on my lid right now as well. So freaking beautiful. It feels like it has kind of a duochrome, but not. It's just because it has those swirlies in there that are purple. Oh, can you imagine doing some kind of like super blendy, dreamy, orangey, red, purple. That's the title of the video, right? Who would click on that? I probably would. Okay, let's move on to the next row. Let's start metallic side first because, hi. I want to play with all the color. I cannot, have I just been out of the makeup enough that I'm like excited like a child over everything shiny? Yeah, I kind of want to skip over the mattes, but I know better. Um, this is my job. So let's take a look at the two mattes next to it. We have kind of a camel yellow matte and a brown. Cool. Let's go to the bottom row, back into what is exciting, things that are shiny. We're going to go into the gold. Oh, yes. I mean... If you're having a bad day, just put something shiny on. Doesn't even have to be makeup, it could be makeup, shiny ring, shiny top, shiny gloss, shiny eyes, just pick one. It will make you feel better. Shiny nails, shiny nails always make everyone feel better. Okay, let's move into just like a nice like, ah, of that purple shade. Yes, you are the standout. If there was like teacher's pet in a palette, it's this shade right here. Moving on. Let's go into swatches of today's eye look. She's sophisticated. I wanted to do something smoky. I was thinking like model-esque matte 90s makeup and what do I do? I'm like, but let's play with all the metallics. So maybe I will have to do a more she's sophisticated kind of a look at a later date, but I'm seeing that trend a lot and I actually get a lot of DMs from you guys where you're like, 90s makeup is like it right now, all matte makeup, can you do all matte makeup? And I'm like, you know what? Yes, 
all matte makeup sometimes looks so beautiful. It's just not as satisfying to do it in my opinion. So sometimes when I'm playing with new things, forgive me, I'm just like straight into the shine, you know? All right, let's take a look at the top row. We have shiny, we have matte, we have shiny. The row down, we have matte, we have dun, 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 the best color in this palette because it is duochromed, it is purple, but it is like a high fashion lilac plus more purple. So good. Then we have this metallic green. We have a beautiful, smooth, smooth, not quite white, not quite peachy, sand colored matte. We have a rich, super intensive matte black. Love this black. The payoff on it was great. It blended really well. And then we have another metallic. Moving along. Oh, wait till you see the green. The green, the green. Can we talk about it? The Python palette, guys. I asked you on Twitter what palette I should get, you know? And let me tell you, I have never had more actual Pythons, pictures of Pythons in my Twitter feed. This is like a dream right here. Let's just mm, do some kind of new trend where we're like, let's do all of them. This is beautiful. This green right here is one of the most gorgeous metallic greens. What is going on? This collection, this wild collection. <gasps> Did I pop a lash? Shucksies. Let me keep finishing talking about this one and we'll fix her. Oh, I mean like look at those two together. Aren't they fun together? Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Also PS the whole Python thing, please. I love animals. Great. They're amazing, so good. I don't like pictures of snakes. I'm sorry, someone's gonna be like, well, that's my animal, my baby. And like, that good for you, good for you. Things without arms and legs creep me out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I like the print. I like the colors in this palette. I don't really like things without arms and legs. It's just like, it's just me maybe. You can go ahead, cuddle on with your python and like get down with your pet. like. Trust, I understand. My sister growing up, she had an iguana. She had a tarantula at one time. And I'm like, you do you. That is not for me. Um, so no judgment. Just like, it was kind of funny that I'm that squirmish person that's like, which one should I review? And like, I go to my app mentions and it's just like a snake, 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 snake. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no. Oh, wow. I could talk about snakes for a while. Ugh. I watched a video. Let me fix my lash and tell you a little story time. I watched a video online. It'll ruin your life too. So if you don't want your life ruined for going to the bathroom, fast forward this part. So anyway, have you guys ever seen the video of the snake like coming up the toilet? This is like not in America. Was it in America? I'm not really sure, but it like came up the toilet and out of the toilet. And I kid you not, after watching this video for like a six month span, every time I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I could not not turn on the lights because usually I just like kind of make my way and by memory, like, cause I'm blind basically without my glasses or contacts. I will like make my way, try to not like wake up the husband and like kind of discreetly like find the door and like go in and it's like pitch black. Uh, yeah, I went through a phase where I'm like, I'm sorry. Like I had to turn the light on and I had to get the glasses and I had to make like eye contact with the inside of the toilet just to like make sure because my mind is a ground for wild imagination, okay? She's creative, imaginative. Sometimes that's wonderful and sometimes it makes you do weird things like insisting on looking in a toilet that there's not a snake coming up the pipe. The more you know, sometimes it's the less you know is what you wanna know, my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this like reptile story time? I have another gross story. I was in Palm Springs and there are a lot of lizards there. They kind of just like, they're everywhere. One got in the house and I was running through the house, not paying attention in my bare feet, I squashed a lizard. We had a burial because I felt so bad that it like I killed it with my bare foot. Ugh, I can't think of it. I actually had a coffee cup and I like dumped the coffee out so that I could like catch it because half of its body was moving and the other half was not. It was just so gross. So we had like a little burial for it because I it was just, 
it's just, I don't like killing things. I didn't do it on purpose. Like, you know, blessings to the animals, whatever, even the little lizards. So the day after I was having like morning coffee and it was just kind of a funny coincidence because I went outside and there was a tree where normally there would be like five to eight like little lizards everywhere and they'd like hang out. I like opened the door the next morning. They got out of my way so fast. I kid you not. I felt like, what am I like? Did they tell their homies? Like they like talk to each other and they're like, it's her. Like she killed our bro, you know? And like, it was funny, but also like traumatic, dramatic. Okay. So those are all of my lizard stories. So let's go on to more wild eyeshadow. We have the tiger palette. Um, this one I have not played with. Let's look at the swatches. We have a matte mustard yellow. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like if you have darker skin, a darker complexion, it's gonna be wowzer, so beautiful on you. I just, I don't think it's my shade. The one next to it is a beautiful gold. And then we have an almost plum undertoned matte brown, like a deep rich matte brown. One row down, we have metallic on metallic. Both of these are stunning, outstanding, gorgeous shades. We have a matte, dusty kind of, I keep wanting to call it like a dune shade. What is this? Like a camel, a, a matte camel shade that's light. The bottom row, you get another metallic that has a golden green hue to it. Then we have a matte burgundy that's almost bordering a rose tone shade and a kind of creamsicle orange. And those are the four wild palettes. I approve. I like this collection. I even like the black liner that I used and I like the formula on the lips. I will leave you with one last thing. I'm going to try on another one of the lippies, a darker one. I didn't want to do like purple eyeshadow, lashes, dark, everything. Like I felt it would be a little overwhelming, but I am curious to try this out. So why not? While, while I have you guys here, let's just go for it. I am testing out today also, PS, the Gucci bronzer. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm a little more bronzed than I would like. Let me just go ahead and say that. Update, update. If you saw my Sephora mega never ending, I needed to restock the makeup makeup haul. I will link that below. That was in there. Really expensive. I'm kind of disappointed because I like their old formula bronzer so much. Okay, I'm gonna go in using my beauty secret. Also, Another shameless plug. Let's link that video below as well. What do we think of this shade? Well, maybe, I don't know. Whenever you put on a liquid lip, I feel personally, you kind of have to be embracing that lip look for the day. You take it off and like some of the foundation is gone. You put on another liquid lip and it's just not quite as accurate or good as it would be on a fresh, clean palette. I'll have to try this one again. I'm kind of surprised. I kind of like this color. What do you guys think? I didn't do the most expert application, but I do like this color. And I have to say Huda Beauty's formula on liquid lips is super nice. And this balm is pretty like juicy and nice too. Hello. Ooh, that looks nice. All right. I am impressed. This collection gets a total thumbs up from me. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Share the video, leave me a comment, make sure you're subscribed, ring that bell, notifications on. And thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're having an awesome day, whatever you're doing. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.